Okay, so what are we looking for? We're looking for the Great Red Dragon. In order to find the Great Red Dragon, we need to have a basic understanding of our solar system and how our Earth works in that solar system. So let's be real, we're going to go real basic. I'm not going to get too technical here. We're going to talk about some real basic stuff. And if this is something you already know and it bores you, I don't know what to do for you. You just have to work through it. If not, then just hang on and we'll just keep going through things and we'll eventually get to some stuff that I think is really exciting. So let's go. First thing. This is our Earth. Our Earth has an axis. The axis is about 23.5 degrees, 23 and a half degrees. The Earth also has an equator. This line is not actually on the Earth. It's actually a line that we see in the sky or that we've actually imposed in the sky, but we're imposing these lines on the Earth. Above the equator, roughly 23 and a half degrees above the equator, is another line that is called the Tropic of Cancer. We'll just say cancer for Tropic of Cancer. Below the line, below the equator that is, is another line we call the Tropic of Capricorn. Both of these tropic lines are 23 and a half degrees either north or south of the equator. This is our sun. Of course, it's much further away. This is our sun. On the first day of spring, okay, typically March 20th, the sun is shining right on this line. Typically spring, March 20th, sometimes that varies a little bit, typically spring on March 20th, first day of spring, the sun is shining right on that line. That's what we call the vernal equinox. From March 20th forward, the sun begins to move further and further and further and further north until you get to June 20th, and you reach what's called the Tropic of Cancer. This is what we call the summer solstice. After June 20th, this line, the sun, begins to move back down, okay? Moves, begins to move back down, and it shines once again right on the equator. This is known as the fall equinox, or the autumn equinox. That typically takes place right around September 22. It varies a day or two sometimes. From September 22 forward, the sun shines further and further and further south until it reaches what we call the Tropic of Capricorn on December 20th, sometimes on the 21st. This is what we call the winter solstice. I'm going to stop and pause at this point. We're going to give you one minute to look at it before we shut the film off so you can actually see exactly what it is we're talking about. You can actually process this stuff yourself. Remember, this is the equinox, this is the Tropic of Capricorn, this is the Tropic of Cancer, this is the Sun, March 20th, okay, the vernal or spring equinox shines right on this equator, from there it moves north, the Sun's point of contact with the Earth, shall I say, moves north, okay, and when you're on the Tropic of Cancer, if you're looking straight up, you're actually going to see the Sun, this is 620. This is the winter, or I'm sorry, this is the summer solstice. Okay. This here is the fall equinox. 
After the summer, after the summer solstice, the moon, the sun begins to work its way back down. On September 22nd, sun is right back on the equator again. This is the fall equinox. Moves after the 22nd, it begins to drop lower and lower and lower until it gets to the point where it's sitting at what we call the Tropic of Capricorn, 1220. This is actually the winter solstice. So take a minute just to look at this. I'll step out of the screen. You can have a look at it and we'll go on to our next video.